So I'm up at Sparrow Fart and all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed because today I'm going to be doing some polishing. It's work that I find fun and rewarding and just generally kind of cathartic. So all I have to do is to get, is to get the side covers off and we'll be good to go. For some reason the side covers have been loctited down and this little bastard is sheared off, but I'll remove that later. For now, it's to use a degreaser to get the filth off the side cover before going on to remove the factory clear coat. And for that, it's important to use a good quality stripper. The clear coat wipes straight off and now it's onto the sanding. I'll be using wet and dry and working my way up from 400 grit to 600 grit, 800 grit, 1000 grit, yeah, we're getting there, 1200 grit and the finest grit I can find. Peak Hipster's going to be an everyday ride, so I'm not going to go for a really high polish. I'll be doing the most basic one you've ever seen. Only one compound and a sisal brush on the wheel. When doing this sort of work, it's important to wear the correct safety gear. You don't want to get any of that crap in your lungs. Then I'll use a rag with some questionable looking stains on it and we're done. A whole lot of parts polished quite easily. All I have to do is install them. But before I do that, I have to remove this stud. This one. So I'm going to go nuclear. Nuclear in this case means MIG welding a nut onto the thread and unscrewing it. That sounds really easy until I realise I haven't welded in 14 years since I was at TAFE. And when I was at TAFE, I was too busy playing in scar bands and being dumped by women. I realise now those two things are related to actually pay any attention to welding. But I borrowed a MIG welder and I'm gonna give it a red hot go. I've got a trial set up here with a bolt. I've got a new fancy auto darkening helmet. Let's see how we go. Ah, it helps if you turn it on. Doesn't look too bad. Now onto the real thing. Well, the good news is that I can weld a bit and the bad news is that I stripped more of the stud and set fire to a t-shirt. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. So it didn't really work, but you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try calling someone who knows what the hell they're doing. Craig ticked on a bolt, but the stud snapped on him too. The only option was to drill it, use some epoxy and put a helicoil in. The moral of the story, when putting stainless bolts into alloy, use anti-seize and don't use Loctite. And now to paint the barrel, which should be interesting. I've had crap results whenever I've tried to paint anything. I did this a few years ago and got bad orange peel. Did this top triple clamp and got an inconsistent finish. And did this when I was 15 and got a youth supervision order from a magistrate. I'm using a three-part kit from Australian company KBS Coatings. It's got a few steps to get right. First, to prep the surface thoroughly or until you just can't be stuffed anymore, you scrub in a degreaser, paint on an etch primer thing, and then give it a few thin coats of paint. So the paint says it's going to be self-leveling, and it's not. It can't self-level. If you look here, it's got some of the... Uh, yeah, it actually did self-level. And it doesn't look too bad. I also wrapped the headers, a whole episode on this stuff coming soon. It looks so much better now, but it still needs some TLC. So next time, it's due for a good old-fashioned service. 